Secretary Ben Secretary Ben Carson. This is Clark Sullivan, uh, as you know. We're out here at 1101 Connecticut in San Francisco at the Pachero Hill Projects. Thanks for joining us. Anyway, we're uh, riding around. We've got a small crowd of protesters over here. I think that would be the Coalition on Homelessness. Um, I found out about this through uh, Paul Bowden and the Western Regional Advocacy Project. And that's uh, WRAP Home. Anyway, this event, the public is not invited. It's invitation only. Uh, the press is not invited. So it shows you what kind of an open door that the Donald Trump administration and Ben Carson has for the, and regard for the general public. Uh, nothing, crickets, right? That's what you hear. So uh, we're out here and we hope to uh, let Carson know that we are don't appreciate what he's up to. Hey guy, Austin, how you doing? <clears throat> well, quite all at the moment. But uh, if you want to point to an agency that's more responsible for uh, the uh, cause of homelessness, one of the chief causes of homelessness, you don't need to point your finger any farther than HUD, Housing and Urban Development. Well, when Reagan became president way back in 1980, one of the first things they did was stop all construction of all federal housing projects. And generally speaking, these housing projects were uh, set up for poor people, like uh, most of the people that are watching, most of them are 99%. And, uh, and you know, you can't have uh, poor people being housed under uh, with Reagan. And uh, in short, uh, they stopped construction. Um, and, the, you know, demand for, for low-cost housing, you know, never ends. So what happened was they got a backlog, and now you have to wait at least five to, to ten years to even get a Section 8 voucher here in San Francisco for housing public housing, which enables you to pay 30% of your income in, uh, as rent. So, uh, 
So you can point to Hyde as being the uh, chief uh, culprits in this whole homelessness. So anything that Donald Trump tells you and anything the government tells you is pure and simple bullshit. Um, they haven't done anything to, to solve the problem. Their biggest solution that they seem to have so far is by opening up an airline hangar, which is reminiscent of the train stations they used to bring people to in uh, to Auschwitz. Because uh, this is fully a full-on concentration camp style solution. And uh, we knew that. That's why Mike Zinn set up first they came for the homeless. was well, because of uh, the fact that we know that, that homeless people don't enjoy human rights like other normal human beings do. Uh, when you're told to move, you have to move. <clears throat> Where else you can face arrest? You don't face that if you're a normal person. The charge of lawyering rarely, if ever, applies to you. Uh, and uh, you don't have the recourse to complain because if you complain about it, well, then I'll just take and arrest you. So, uh, and you get thrown in jail, and then you don't have a right to a lawyer because you can't afford one. And <clears throat> and then you become part of you go from the homeless industrial complex, which is. Uh, all these extra people that are used that have their jobs, they're basically their jobs are uh, predicated upon the fact that there's homeless people. So you're not just like, you know, the, the people in the homeless industry are not just not helping homeless people, but they're taking the money that was set aside to provide housing. And these people to me are all like vampires uh, because they're sucking the life out of all the the rest of the homeless programs because they take all the money. So, uh, hey, how you doing? So, uh, you can take it from there. And, and uh, you know, I'm very cynical about anything to do with the homelessness because I've heard every story and every bullshit line before. Um, I just got out of federal court a few couple of weeks ago and heard every bullshit line by a federal judge, even though he was sympathetic to our cause. Um, you know, he still was not willing to allow us our civil rights as anybody else because, number one, homeless people don't get to vote because we have no fixed address. So a jury, if you go to a court and you, they pick a jury, well, jury people have homes because if they didn't, they wouldn't receive a juror's notice. So you're not even going to be able to get a fair trial in the American system if you're homeless because you're not being judged by a jury of your peers. Number one, you're being judged by a jury of people that are housed and uh, that have uh, their their physical needs met, basically. So, uh, you know, don't expect to get any civil rights in America. And now that Donald Trump's become president, it's even worse. Um, the only thing that's kind of saving us, uh, basically, from Donald Trump is Donald Trump's ineptitude. Um, if he was such a, it wasn't such a, uh, a narcissist, well, then he might be able to get something done. But, uh, you know, as they said about Mussolini getting the trains done, running on time, Donald Trump can't even get Amtrak to run on time. So, uh, matter of fact, uh, RIP to Jupiter and Pixie, who were run over by an Amtrak train just the other day. So, there you go. Uh, and this little area... It's kind of funny, there is a reason why they're picking this area to speak at, uh, because this used to be some uh, notorious public housing around here, um, like where I got the camera pointed. And uh, there used to be a murder, there was a murder two weeks ago, but there used to be a murder in front of this place about, oh, there was one one a week usually, and this was all some, some of the most dilapidated, most uncared for public housing anywhere in the United States. So, uh, you know, there you go. I'm not a very boisterous crowd of uh, protesters. I don't want to have to start leading them on chance. Right? We'll see what happens. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, they want to put people in concentration camps. That's pretty much it. According to refusefascism.org. You have a right. might be yeah, you don't think they're. You don't think that uh, that Donald Trump is actually going to construct any public housing, do you? Because uh, you know you'd be you'd be dreaming if you thought that was true. 
Uh, the only thing he really wants to do is persecute homeless people and put them in jail so he can lock them up and, and get rid of them. I mean, why would he ever go to an a airplane hangar in Hawthorne, California, and, like, even think about housing people in an airplane hangar? So, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, the fact that this meeting isn't open to the public is another indication that the Trump administration does not want to do anything or uh, have any criticism of it or any input. doesn't matter. Criticism, input, he's not looking for that from the public. He just wants you to do what he says, and that's it. Hey, Michelle, how you doing? It's Clark, yeah, hustled on up here as soon as I found out about it. Uh, right now, protesters are outnumbering the, I mean, not protesters, uh, the, the journalists over here are outnumbering protesters like two to one. Uh, there was one group called Coalition on Homelessness that is supposed to be out here, uh, but they're just kind of standing around too. So we'll see what happens. But you have to have an invitation to get in. Of course. Hey, what's up? Hey. Okay. That's good to hear. Yes, I do. That's why we do commentary out here for you folks, bring you up to speed. Uh, ben Carson, has there ever been a person who sounds like he's on drugs? I mean, I don't know if you've heard Ben Carson speak, but he sounds like he's on Xanax every time. He's got this. I mean, really soft voice, and you can barely hear him most of the time. So, you know, hey, what's up? So there we go. We got another protester. Another, well, I shouldn't say protester. Critic of this administration, because uh, when you say protester, that's a bad word. Donald Trump doesn't like protesters. How many of you guys uh, that are watching remember uh, what happened to Donald Trump the last time he came to town? Of course, he wasn't president. He was only running for president, and I don't know if you folks remember, but he got ran off the tracks, and ran off the tarmac, and he actually had, they had to cut a fence down to uh, to let him into the speaking engagement that he was at. All right, now we got some light. Hey Richard, how you doing? Paul Bowden's group. There you go. Got a nice picket. Yes, uh, speaking about uh, house keys and handcuffs, uh, I ch I uh, have a space where I'm trying to get meetings going for a group called uh, Bay Area Landless People's Alliance, and that's on Fridays at 4799 Shattuck Avenue in Oakland, California, and that's on Mondays at 7 p.m. So uh, basically... The uh, goal of BALPA, B-A-L, Bay Area Landless People's Alliance, is to stop the criminalization of poverty and homelessness. Sleep outside. Sleep outside. 
Please, sir. Um, they don't expect this to be a. I'd rather smell wonderful things. He's a boob. Send him back to the operating room. There's mad quackery, especially on housing. Carson is a quack when it comes to housing. What does he know about housing?
because you heard from our chance, rent controls, zoning, all of these things make housing affordable and accessible so that people can stay in the city and work the jobs they work here and send their children to their, these schools. Without those things, people become homeless. So it's opposite day with the Trump administration where they decide that relaxing things like rent controls and making it easier to kick people out of their housing is what will solve homelessness when it is the absolute opposite that research studies and life experience proves. Um, we're also here to say that um, it's disingenuous to come and town public housing as such a great thing when this very administration has been cutting the funding. Not only that,
people yeah. Yeah. The Trump administration wants to haul people off the streets and into jail. Yeah. So,
There you go. And let's end it with fuck you. Yes! Yeah. Yes, fuck you! I like that. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. That says it all. No, I'll lose me. He turned off. He knows so much about public housing. <laughs> The rents of public housing today went up from 30 to 35 percent higher. Why? Because it was big happen. This little fact sheet that I got here, and I posted, uh, kind of explains everything. But like seriously, guys, public housing is public housing, right? We do fund housing through owner uh, insurance, uh, through owner, uh, owner housing subsidies. You know, we do that. We put a lot of fucking money because you know, it makes money for the company, for the gold bank industry, for all right. so on. So when you talk about public housing, we're like, how many people are going to be living in the unit? Are you a drug addict? Do you have a record? Do you like, dude, when you buy your house, nobody asks you that. You, you can do as many drugs you want in your house. You, you still get the fucking money. So like, no, just really do the, the, the bullshit. Public housing is needed. It's the only solution for homelessness. If you really want to solve this crisis, as they call it, they have called it so many things. If we really want to do something about it, we need to put back the money that it was taken from public housing at the beginning of this fucking process. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do, make 10, 15 different programs, call it whatever you want to call it. If you don't put funding to the programs, there will be no housing. So homeless people are bound to be homeless. Right? So let's just get rid of people. Public housing was the answer of homelessness into 1979. Mr. Reagan with fucking Reaganomics, neoliberal economics, was still screwing us all the fucking time. All these stupid ass agencies where like people can get a fucking paycheck and just pretend that I'm doing something. So I got some information if you really want to read about it. I'm very upset about this asshole over here talking all this mic all the time. Do you know what an Oreo is? Yeah, I know what an Oreo is, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Senor to blame, making people hopeless.
Anyway, Carson just left. Yeah. He doesn't want to face people. Carson, he knows that uh, we're out and we're, we let him give him the what for about his policies. So is he going down the street or what? So I'm, I'm hesitant to run down here after them. Uh oh. Oh, good. Trying to see if I can see him walk in there. He's down here and I don't have telephoto. I don't want to get too far down this hill because it's pretty steep. He's inside of the building, isn't he? Well, they tried to sneak him in the building here. Hmm. It sounds like John, uh, the Federal Reserve, I guess, are the agents weren't prepared for this turnout. They thought that old uh, old Carson was going to be able to sneak in without a. A what for and a who are who are you? So all right, well that's pretty much it right there. You can see how steep this hill is. I can't run down. Hey, Sonia, how you doing? Ben Carson is the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, uh, the agency uh, that defunded all the uh, low-income housing the federal government builds. And, uh, so, uh, anyway, a mainly peaceful protest. No rest. Everybody's pretty mellow. Ben Carson. I got to ask you guys a question out there. How many people would want to have Ben Carson doing your uh, your brain tumor and removing your brain tumor? Because that's what he used to do when, before he decided to get into politics.
Yeah, oh, Powers against the human right. There you go. There you go. Yeah, just yeah, put it up there. Should be uh, guaranteed by the Constitution, isn't it? Under uh, pursuit of happiness, or life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. One of those. At any rate. Well, there you have it. I guess everybody's kind of. I'm kind of hungry, actually. I haven't had any breakfast, and my I hustled on down to get here and give you, bring you the live stream. Stand up, fight back, lower the damn rent. I always do that, mind. So they're, not, they're not admitting the general public. It's closed by invitation only. And to crash your own in this party, you got to go through two layers of security, it looks like, just to get inside. So we're not going to waste our time. You know, had I been younger, I might have snuck in, but i got this wheelchair to deal with now. Well, there you have it. I'm going to let this go and go. I appreciate everybody watching. And everybody have a good day. This is Clark Sullivan live from uh, 101, 1101 Connecticut, San Francisco. Have a great day.